Today's dazzling video is sponsored by Squarespace. Learn more about them at the end. There are Rubik's Cubes, and then there are Rubik's Cubes. Gan or Gan, if you don't want to pronounce it the original Chinese way, has been said to be the apple of speed cubing. And in addition to producing amazing speed cubes, over the past few years, they've released a slew of limited edition products, each averaging, and I'm not kidding, $100. This guy, the Peacock, when it first came out, retailed at 140 Australian dollars. That is no joke. So I've been collecting them and saving them for this very moment, which, if I planned it right, should make up the colors of the rainbow. And well, we're gonna see what's so special about it. And because we can, let's do this with my new Team Man cubing mat. Let's do this in chronological order, going all the way back to 2019, when Gan released the crystal blue. <laughs> 2019. The world was a much simpler place then. So as you can see, this limited edition cube was based off the 356X, which was their flagship cube that year. It was a beautiful cube. That was actually my main 3x3 that I used for quite a long time. And again, I remember making a really big deal of the fact that only 999 of these cubes were made around the world, which I mean, is pretty cool. But at the same time, I mean, a thousand cubes is quite a few. How many cubes do you think that company must sell for like 1,000 to not actually be very many? Like at a hundred bucks a pop, that's like a hundred thousand dollars. But yeah, here it is, the blue cube. It's a little bit darker um, than the product pictures had, but what I appreciate is, check this out. Hey, it's blue to its very, very core, which is... Yeah, it's really, really unique. Now, true Team Man fans might know that I've unboxed a different type of rainbow colored cubes. These are the infinity cubes based on um, the tornado design. Uh, and can you tell a difference between these two? I mean, apart from the lighter color, check this out. These infinity cubes are only blue on the inside, but the exterior is completely clear. <gasps> oh, that's right, I've forgotten now. This was back in the day when adjustable magnets, so see all those little circles? That's this cube's magnet system, and the magnet system only came about like, I think a few years before this cube actually hit the market, so it sort of just like snaps into place. It's really, really nice. It's what adds stability to like all speed cubes these days. But this cube was revolutionary because, check this out. Yes, <laughs> look at that. You could take the magnet capsule out and then replace it with like different strength magnets. Oh, those were the days. Why am I feeling so nostalgic onto a cube like just three years old? But I have also come armed with something that will make this shine way brighter. Let's turn off some of the lights first. Okay. And <laughs> there we go. I'm gonna have to do this to every cube, hey? Yeah, all of the others. Ah, oh, mesmerizing, my friends. I just realized I haven't even actually tried turning it. Oh, okay. This is what the 356X used to feel like. It's actually really, really nice. It's a little bit loose, so... I'm trying, to oh, I'm trying to remember what the tensioning system was like again for, oh, that's right. See those little numbers there? So all you have to do is just like push this down and then twist it like one way or another. And then that would make it like harder or softer spring compression. <laughs> it's so funny spinning. Well, we call these like um, a force cube because you know, do what you want to this puzzle. It always looks like it's soft because it's the same color on every side. And it, I never get over just how funny it looks. Scrambling, you know, turning as fast as you can. Now let's move the clock because the following year, GAN released based on the new 11M flagship cube began Kun referring to a mythical giant fish in Chinese folklore. There it is right there, <laughs> Yo Yu. And see how technology has stepped up, but also what they've done with their 2020 cube. <laughs> There you go, that's a step up in technology with their cases. That feels so different. So this is a frosted feel that can uses for a lot of their stickerless cubes. Uh, this one obviously you can't see through because look, but can you? <laughs> Yo, how amazing is that? That is scary. But the reason it looks that way is because check out the insides. Oh wow, look at that. So yeah, red internals on this cube and it's partly um, translucent as well. Let's get the light back. I actually feel like I'm looking into the depths of the inferno. Ooh, let's see what they've done with the side magnets this year. So <gasps> now at first impressions, it looks I can no longer remove that magnet. So what's happened? And the answer is, there it is. Ta-da! The customization has now moved 
<laughs> to the corners. So if I click that to the side, I've now moved it to a stronger or a weaker magnet setting. So yeah, no more removable parts. You no longer needed to carry like an extra set of all those little capsules to replace. Very different feel uh, the 11M had to the 356 series. It was, um, in my opinion, a lot more stable, uh, even though, I don't know, I did miss something that, you know, the 356 series had with its like flexibility. There was something that was nice about it, but I mean, if I had to choose, definitely this guy over that guy. And in fact, I still use the 11M Pro today, despite the fact that GAN actually has since released a new flagship cube. Oh, and just like before, only 999 of these cubes were made around the world. What a crazy limited edition that was. But I mean, hey, that is pretty unique because if you wanted to get this cube right now, it's, it's sold out. It's literally sold out everywhere. I have actually always thought that um, one day I might, you know, sell a lot of these cubes or auction them off to like raise money for charity. So I don't know, if you're a cube collector and you really, really want to get your hands on these limited edition cubes, stay tuned because I might actually sell them one day um, in order to raise money for something. And then in 2021, Gen released four cubes to to welcome in the spring, of which I have two. And they were the Ambition, the Chaser, the Zenith, and the Glimmer. Now I'm gonna say that strictly speaking, there were only two that they released, the Ambition here and the Zenith, because the Chaser and the Glimmer are actually combinations of the two. Like for example, they were the external pieces of the Ambition and the internal pieces of the Zenith. But again, it won't surprise you to know that only a limited number of these guys were made, 2,800 to be exact. So that sounds more, but it's actually less. <laughs> what am I talking about? Because, hmm, thick is. Oh, the case itself is colored. I actually never knew that. I'm unboxing this for the first time. Because 2800 divided by four, so only 700 of each of these little babies were produced. You ready for it? Ready for it? Boink. That is really, really pretty. How would you even describe this color? It's definitely not red. I don't think it's pink either. Peach, cherry, cherry blossom. Yeah, it's really got that cherry blossom, which I mean, I think is what Gan was trying to go for. That feels really nice. Can I just say, I appreciate the fact that even that little, uh, you know, switch thing down there, even that is pink. <laughs> like <laughs> the level of detail. It's like just that same color all the way to the core. Yo, even that, yo, that's dedication. Even that centerpiece, like in the middle that you've got to adjust for tensioning is also color matched. Now look at the different system that we have in the 11M Pro. It's now not as easy to do it just manually. Um, we sort of need a tool. Ooh, what happens if I switch it around? That just looks ugly. And let's unbox the other guy, the Zenith. Oh, I'm remembering now that the website actually had all these <laughs> really funny descriptions of like um, what each of the cubes were trying to do. Achieve the zenith with singing heart. Yeah, you know what? I will. I'll make my heart sing. Oh, and, and what was the ambition? Unstoppable ambition to be faster and better. That actually makes sense. And then may cubing be a glimmer of light in your life. Aw. And records after records, you are the light chaser. Okay. All right, you ready? Three, two, one. Um, it's really yellow. <laughs> yeah, you can sort of see the gradient right there. Look at that. Oh, maybe like more like this. Yeah, there we go. Cause it's sort of like a pink exterior with like yellow interior. <gasps> oh, I nearly forgot. I nearly forgot the light, my friends. You ready? <laughs> That's what the others would have looked like. Spring colors, said Gan. And you know what? Yeah, it is actually quite springy. I can like hypnotize people with this. You will subscribe to my channel. But did I save the best for last? I certainly saved the most recent for last. This guy came out late. 2021. In fact, a bunch of people only got this like early 2022. So, okay, for starters, look at the packaging. This is totally different from all the others. And this was a guy that when it first came out retailed. How do I open it? Oh, okay. Okay, that was cool. I'm also never gonna be able to close that ever again. So this guy retailed, uh, yeah, 140 Australian dollars when it first came out which is insanity. Whoa, I've sort of been neglecting like what the other things that come in the box with it. So I should open it for this last one. I have never seen a box like this before. Ah, uh, yes, that's right. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That is the most beautiful cube bag I've seen in my life. I completely neglected this for the other cubes. Did they come with anything? Look, I'm not gonna lie. A lot of cubes come with like cube bags, which I usually just completely ignore because they're like, whatever. But it did come with a cube bag. 
So the spring edition cubes came with a cube bag too. That is actually so pretty. Oh my goodness. Sorry, I was going back down and seeing like what I missed. What? I'm legit so excited by these bags. Can bags are normally like, I mean, they're cool, but they're just pretty standard. That is actually so pretty. But hands down, the winner has to be the peacock because uh, you cannot tell, or maybe you can. It just feels like a microfiber cloth. That is actually amazing. All right, so the peacock was based on the 12 maglev, which came out in 2021. Now the concept of using maglev in a Rubik's cube is not new. What I have here is the world's first cube with no springs. The only thing that's holding this together is magnets. We need a little bit of flexibility, which is one of the criticisms of like the standard original Rubik's cubes. I mean, there are variations now, but the old sort of Rubik's cubes, if they were slightly misaligned, it was just very, very hard to like turn them because they just, there wasn't much give. Whereas uh, better speed cubes have a lot more sort of like flexibility, which means that even if it's slightly misaligned, look at that. Uh, and the way that was achieved is that there are literally springs. So there's a spring in there. So look, watch this. Ta-da! Okay, so I lift it up and it just like snaps back. But the maglev system decided to do things differently. They thought instead of using a spring, what if they based it after this old toy? Check this out. Oops. <laughs> Check the take two. Check this out. Ta-da! Hey, like poles of a magnet will repel. Let's say that's north and north. And so if I try and push north and north to each other. And so can you see there's actually sort of a fake spring compression thing going on there. Yeah, I could do that all day. So here we go. <laughs> I forgot that open sideways. Um, guys, this is amazing. This looks like it's actually gl glowing from the inside, even though I haven't, I haven't done anything to it. So yeah, here it is, the 12 maglev. The maglev almost seems to have a mind of its own. Look, it almost completes the turn for me. And there are two reasons for that. One, I think the maglev system, because it's springless, there's just less friction. Like it just moves a lot smoother, but also there's something now going on on the insides with the corners. So it's not just like this magnet that's going around. That's like, I want to join onto that guy. It's like, boing. There are more magnets in the core of this cube that's causing that to happen. So let's actually open this up to have a peek and let's break apart one of the 11M. So we can see how GAN technology has changed over the years. Seeing these colors actually makes me so happy. So this is the 356X system. Yeah, see all that? That's really cool. Now check this out, the 11M. Hey, something's different. The previous core, just how smooth all the pieces just glided over each other. But look at this. In the 11M core, magnets were introduced into the very center of the system and corner pieces now have had magnets at their center. So it means that like when this top layer is moving over, I'll just move this one. This guy is going from there to there. Pop. It's pretty amazing. But what the 12M did, they moved the magnets a lot closer to the core and they increased the length of their corner magnets. See that? So it extends a lot farther out now. This guy, right, when he's going from one corner to another, there was sort of a greater distance in between where there was just no magnetic attraction. Whereas this guy, because it's a lot longer, look, he goes from that. Barely any travel distance that it's not experiencing some sort of magnetic pull. And because of that, it almost anticipates what you're gonna do. And as you start making the turn, it just like completes it for you. Oh, look at that, that's a maglev system right there, look. No springs, no hands, mom. So as I pull it up, I'm forcing the two magnets together and it just like springs straight back down. Just like this guy right there, right? All right, I gotta fix this. Honestly though, these boxes are <laughs> actually really cool. And of course, for the most important part, which one's the best? <laughs> well, let's first put them in alphabetical. Wait, not alphabetical. Rainbow order. Yeah, there we go. Oops. Yeah, it'd be so much nicer if this guy was like transparent as well, but hey. Yo, this is like $500 worth of cubes right in front of me now. So which one's the nicest? <gasps> Ooh, I haven't done the light thing to it yet. This actually feels wrong. It feels like kryptonite. I've watched enough Superman chosen movies to know that I'm dealing with something dangerous here. Gan releases these puzzles like this, right? And I think they look really, really beautiful in this like, you know, force cube state, but they release them with stickers because they're technically supposed to be stickered. It makes sense because they're Rubik's cubes and like, this ain't a Rubik's cube, there's no puzzle. But at the same time, man, once you cover them up, what are they gonna look like? So here's what we're gonna do. 
we're gonna stick her one of them. I really hope it doesn't fully take away the beauty of the cube, but these guys have all just like stepped back. I offer him as tribute. <laughs> so yeah, let's um, stick her our good old friend, the 2019 Crystal Winter Blue. See what it looks like. So if you've never stickered a cube before, like me, just kidding. Um, <laughs> we use this sort of adhesive, this additional tape goes onto the top of it. And then it picks up all the stickies just like that. And then we very, very carefully apply that to this, lining it correctly, and then push it down really carefully so that we don't trap any bubbles underneath. And once you've pushed them all down, you peel this off. And there it is. Let's keep going. You ready? What did I tell you? It's like Apple. I just like literally unboxed a brand new iPhone. They even give you an Apple sticker as well. So this can go on any side, but hey, tradition puts it on the white center. And I mean, guys, if we don't have tradition, what do we have? We're no different from the animals. Done. It's actually really cool. Would I sticker all of them? Um, I don't think so. I do actually like how they're originally looking. Like it's it's very, very pretty as they currently are. Oh wait, this isn't a force cube anymore. <laughs> now, I, now I have to dissolve it. And this is an arpam. There we go. So if you want these cubes, sorry, you can't get them anymore because they are sold out. <laughs> Hey, Gan warned us there's only a thousand of these in the world. But something you absolutely can get is a beautiful website thanks to Squarespace. Squarespace gives people a powerful and beautiful online platform from which to create your website. They let you connect with your audience through gated members only content. You can send email communications, leverage audience insights, all on one easy to use platform. Something I love about Squarespace is that the websites they enable you to make are built for community. They have fully integrated commenting systems that support threads, replies, and likes. Want to start a blog and speak to the world? You can easily schedule your posts or categorize and share them. Go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash tingman to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. This is the channel to subscribe to. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, hey, look, <laughs> that's why I put it there because that's very tingman. You can check these other videos I've made of Gan Cubes while I really carefully put these $500 worth of cubes back in their boxes. <laughs> Bye.